If you run a small business and you need a loan fast, you're going to want to hear about my experience with this small business lending website, fundbox.com. They're a really great site and I had a good experience, although I want to tell you a few surprises I came across along the way. Before I get going, I want to let you know that this review is sponsored by bestsmallbusinessloans.com. It's a great website, must read if you're shopping around for small business loans like I was. In this experience, I'll explain to you the different stages I went through. Each of these five stages, I found something interesting, surprising both. And I actually took out a loan for $2,000 for a small business equipment loan so that I could work on a project that would earn me money with which I was going to pay it back. I knew I was going to be able to pay the money back. The project was very solid, so there wasn't a lot of risk. I also have excellent credit, so I figured, hey, I'm going to give this a try just to see what kind of rates I could get. Let's talk first about applying for the loan. The process is very simple. It went very fast. I'll walk you through what each of the screens look like so you know, but I got to tell you, it was a good surprise. The loan process itself took about five minutes to fill out the application and another six minutes before I got a response, which showed that I was accepted for the loan. It does do a soft credit pull. That's important to understand. Now, a lot of places, if you apply for a loan, it's a hard credit pull. And some people feel like, how can that be that they can do this without doing a hard credit pull that will actually hit your credit score? Well, they don't. And we'll talk about why that is as we go through. Here are the screens I want to show you when you're applying for the loan. They ask you whether or not you want a revolving line of credit or a one-time term loan. You can also choose whether or not you want to repay each draw over 12 to 24 weeks or 24 to 52 weeks. You normally have to fill out regular information about yourself, identification. This is all that was required here. Pretty basic stuff though. Some websites have you fill out an entire business plan. That wasn't the case here for this loan on Fundbox. They do ask about the owner's information, but it's just how much of a percentage of ownership you have in the small business that you're getting a loan for and whether or not you're a key decision maker. This part of the application process actually caught me by surprise. It's asking for bank information. Well, there's an obvious reason for that. They want to know where to electronically transfer the money, but it's a two way street. When you read the fine print, it's important to focus in on what they are asking. If you complete the application process, you are giving Fundbox and its bank partners continuing access to your bank account activity. And you're also authorizing Fundbox and its partners to deposit in and more importantly, debit from this account. That's right. They're actually going to put money into your account electronically and take it out according to their regular schedule. It's important that you understand getting a loan from fundbox.com is built on that premise. See if they can take out the payments to repay the loan according to their schedule, they can service the loan without a hitch. Then they don't have to worry too much about whether or not you've got a perfect credit score. They can do this loan in a matter of minutes. It can be an entirely automated process. You just have to understand that the whole thing is a package deal. There are two options for payback and the interest rates are different. Let's take a closer look at what these options are. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm looking at a $2,000 loan. They have two different repayment options, either a 52 week schedule or a 24 week schedule. And in each of these, they have greater detail. So I'm going to look close first at the 24 week schedule. Here's what that looks like. The breakdown of the fees is that for a 24 week payment, weeks one through 12 charge a certain amount of principal and a certain amount of interest with a total payment per week in this case of $96. I looked closely at this and I realized that this repayment schedule requires about $312 in interest over the life of the loan. $312 over a 24 week period of time works out to be about 31% interest. 
Yikes, that's a high rate of interest. I was actually quite surprised, but that's an annual rate. In terms of the amount of interest that you pay, it's only about 15 or 16% on the total amount. It's just because you're paying it back quickly that the annual rate looks so high. On the 52 week repayment schedule, the principal fees and the total per week are all different. The interest you're paying is $13.5 every week for those first 26 weeks. Now this is something important to understand. Because this interest is charged weekly, it actually works in favor of the people who want to repay the loan early. If I were to carry this loan out to its full term, I would end up paying about 24%. I spoke with a customer service agent about this, and I'll tell you more about what I learned there in just a minute. Let me point out that if I take the 52 week repayment terms, I recognize that I'm paying less interest per week than if I take the 24 payment. If I choose the 52 week repayment schedule, I end up paying less money when I end up repaying the loan early. If you can pay it back early, one of these might end up being better than the other for your situation. Now let's talk about funding the loan. Getting the money was pretty easy. It would come right into the account, just automatically transferred in. That's what I expected. But before we get to that point, here's something that happened that was surprising, but in a really good way. I took a couple of hours to decide which one of the payment options I wanted and whether or not I actually wanted to go through with the loan. See, once you complete the loan and approval process, you don't automatically have the loan. You have to say, I agree to these terms and then and only then will the loan funding process begin. In that period of time while I was deliberating on it, I actually got an email from Fundbox, which I thought was a nice touch. In the email, the customer service rep identified themselves by name and asked me if I had any questions they could answer and gave me a phone number by which I could contact them. So I took the trouble to take the phone call. I was glad I did because I found out some nice information that just made it easier for me to know what to expect. One thing I realized was I wouldn't be able to make my first payment until after five days and then it would automatically start taking money out of the account if I didn't make a payment myself. And they would do that eight days after that point. Well, that's really easy. It just takes care of itself. If I've got the money in the account where I can be making my scheduled weekly payments, I'm not worried about it. But if I don't know that, if I'm the kind of person that skips over details, this might catch me by surprise. So it's really important to be ready for your first payment. In paying back the loan, I could have just let the automatic schedule take over uh, and interest would be charged weekly. That's not a problem. I chose the 52 week option because I did want to pay it back early. And so I wanted to minimize the amount of interest that I paid. It didn't take long and the amount of interest I ended up with was very minimal compared to what I was able to use the loan for. My return on the investment, well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So it's important to understand that the aftermath of taking the loan, I was worried about two things. I was worried about whether or not I would get a hit to my credit. I was worried about whether or not I would make money from my equipment purchase. But this story has a happy ending. It turned out the Funbox website was as good as their word. They didn't have any impact on my credit. Soft credit pull, no change. Even a month later, after I've paid back the loan, there is no impact on my credit. And as far as making money off my equipment purchase, that worked out. Within a couple of months, I was able to make double the amount I had taken the loan for. So it was really worth it to me. And the small amount of interest I ended up paying, I was glad to pay it. One other thing I'll add on to the end of this story is the fact that if you're this kind of person, if you're one of the people, the solutions that this works for, where it's a quick application process, even if you have poor credit and you have the ability to repay it and you need the money quick, if you're that kind of person and you pay back the loan, the customer service rep explained to me that you are then offered more money at lower interest rate. And so the more you work with Fundbox, the better and better your terms get. I was a little uncertain if maybe that was just some marketing hype. Turned out to be true. 
As soon as I had paid back the loan, very shortly thereafter, I got an email notice saying I'm approved for a greater amount at better terms. So all told, I found this to be a very good experience and I can understand why Funbox is so popular. If I need another small business loan, I know where I'm gonna look first.